over the last month, we have had violent robberies, sometimes leading to killings of constituents, but targeting business premises, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, our trading centers like Dago, Otonglo, Lela, Kisian, Holo, Mr. Speaker, up to Maseno, those are being targeted for thuggery, Mr. Speaker, and many times leading to death. Mr. Speaker, just last week, on the 29th of June, we have a businessman who was accosted and killed in his premises at Ojola Center, right opposite Ojola Police Post. Mr. Speaker, everything in his business premises was actually taken. Mr. Speaker, just on Monday at 5.30 p.m., a young lady, a from one student at Kuo Secondary School, was attacked on her way home at 5.30 p.m. and killed Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, when you have cases of such high insecurity, it causes a lot of fear amongst, amongst the members of the society. Mr. Speaker, I would therefore request that security needs immediate attention. Is it possible that we could actually have a session with the Cabinet Secretary of Internal Affairs so that at least we can find out what measures can be put in place to lower the escalating insecurity in Kisumu West constituency? Mr. Speaker, I thank you for your indulgence. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Rosa. I believe the Majority Leader has heard you. Majority Leader, you are tasked the statement. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, and uh, let me express my sympathies with your indulgence to the people of Kisumu Town West, ably represented by Honorable Rosa Buyu, and regret the loss of life, especially of that young, young uh, from two or from one student and the businessman who have suffered from uh, those robberies. But also maybe, Mr. Speaker, you allow me to advise Honorable Rosa Buyu if she could appraise herself with the current ongoings in the House and our uh, procedures and the changes in our standing orders, you can actually put a question to the Cabinet Secretary in charge of the Interior, uh, Professor C. Uh, Kindiki, to appear before the House and hold into account on such issues of insecurity. But I do hope, as of now, the Inspector General of Police and uh, DCI have heard you. Uh, and if they have not heard you, I would encourage you to draft a question or a statement for response by the Cabinet Secretary. And I'll be very happy to relay uh, that, uh, and that uh, question or statement to the Cabinet Secretary and cause his appearance before the House so that you do your work as a people's representative of Kisumu Town West to come and hold the cabinet secretary and the security agencies to account on behalf of the people. Honorable Speaker, allow me now to proceed to the usual pass the statement. Uh, pursuant to the provision of standing order 442A, I rise to give the following statement on behalf of the House Business Committee, which met on Tuesday, 4th July 2023, to prioritize the business for consideration during the week. I wish to commend the leadership of this House from both the majority and minority 